Well, welcome back, everybody. Have you made some mistakes in the past, broke a law? Forget about it and focus on the future. That's what thousands are hoping to do during a special event that offers a fresh start. Local Forest Bill Jones is live in River Rouge. Will, explain what this is all about. Rhonda, this is what it feels like for those who have a criminal record. Once they've served their time, they only can get so far before they hit a wall. Well, a presentation here at River Rouge High School will help them get around this barrier today. After several attempts over the years, the second chance bill passed in the last legislative session and Governor Snyder signed it into law back in January. The law gives some offenders literally a second chance to rebuild their lives by allowing them to have some of their convictions erased from public records. If the judge in the criminal system says your debt to society is five years or seven years, then it shouldn't be a life sentence. Terrence Wheeler is the parent community liaison for the River Rouge School District. The district is partnering with the Legal Aid and Defender Association, hosting an expungement presentation at River Rouge High School today at 430. When you look at our society, 90% of those folks that are incarcerated will return. So it's, it will behoove us as a community to set up resources and wrap around services to help that family. We can't help the children if we don't help the guardian. In order to have a conviction set aside in Michigan, typically you must have only one conviction on your record. But there are some exceptions to this rule. Certain convictions cannot be set aside like any felony offense that is punishable by life in prison. Before you file your application, you have to wait five years after you were convicted or completed your sentence, whichever comes later. Terrence Wheeler says this will help some people with criminal records improve their chances of finding jobs and housing. So hopefully, once you get your record expunged, then hopefully we can get you into the job market. Once you start working, therefore you're less likely to commit crime. When folks become desperate, they become dangerous, and we don't want that in our community. Again, that presentation is set for 4.30 this afternoon here at River Rouge High School. It's open to the public, and it's free. We're live this morning in River Rouge. Will Jones, Local 4 News, today.